another episode of The Joy of Painting Bible Guys. I've got a great Bible guy to paint today. His name is Boaz, and you can find him in the Book of Ruth. He's a real swell guy, and I just know you're going to like him. So go ahead and get your paints and come with me as we learn more about today's Bible guy, Boaz. I'm going to start off with a canvas that I found on the side of the road. God's always making beautiful things come out of messy situations. And when it comes to painting, you sure can too. First, I'm going in with a big fat brush and I'm using a vaguely skin colored paint to block out the main shapes. We'll get into the background later, but right now we're starting with the face of this super nice Bible guy, Boaz. We first meet Boaz in chapter two of Ruth and from the start, he shows himself to be a real standout of a man. We don't really know what he looks like. So I just Googled nice guy and found a picture that I liked. You can do the same. It's your painting. You can make him look however you like. While Google doesn't really know exactly what he looks like, the Bible certainly paints a very clear picture of his character. He's a landowner, a farmer, possibly rich, possibly worth 10,000 pounds. But more importantly, he's a faithful man of God. He greets his harvesters in his field with, the Lord be with you. He loves the Lord and treats his workers with care and respect, and they too respect him. He's a bit of a gentleman, couldn't have behaved in a more gentleman-like manner, so I've gone ahead and given him a lovely stiff collar and a fancy frilly necktie. Boaz was kind. He was attentive to those around him. He noticed Ruth and asked after her. He had heard about her and knew she needed a friend. Boaz was generous. He allowed Ruth to glean in his field, even instructing the workers to leave grain behind for her. He offered her provision of food and water and gave her a safe place to work. Boaz was wise. He knew God's law and sought to honour God in everything he did. He upholds what God has put in place to take care of the poor and the needy. He recognises his position as Ruth's kinsman redeemer and seeks to fulfil that role, even at great cost to himself. He recognises Ruth as a woman of virtue. He sees that she has given up a lot to stay with Naomi and recognises her sacrifice. And he sees her faith in Yahweh and he loves her for it. Ruth is a foreigner, a poor widow, and has almost no standing in that society. And yet, being a godly man who is wise, gentle and kind, Boaz treats her with care and respect. He honours her and through Boaz, God lavishes Ruth and Naomi with extravagant, generous and abundant love. God also loves you with a valiant, generous and extravagant love. Like Ruth, we are poor, in desperate need of protection and forgiveness for our sins. When we humbly seek the Lord and come to him, he will receive us with joy. He gathers us up under his wing and makes us a part of his royal family. Boaz is a really nice guy because God is with him and in him. So seek the Lord, find out what he's like and ask him to daily transform you into his likeness. Boaz did. And you can too. Thanks for watching this episode of The Joy of Painting Bible Guys. I hope you've got a great painting of Boaz for your lounge room wall. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.